Alright, in this video we're going to revisit our mixing problem. It's pretty much the same example from last time, but last time we had a volume that stayed constant, which meant the flow rate of the mixture of salt going into the tank is the same as the flow rate of the mixture going out of the tank. Well, this time someone has turned the faucet or the tap uh, a couple of turns and reduced the outflow by half. So only 5 litres per minute of solution is now flowing out of the tank. So what that means over time, this tank is going to fill up and eventually overflow. But what we want to know is the quantity of salt there is at any time before it overflows. And to help us solve this problem, it is very similar process wise, we're going to use first order differential equations. Now as I've mentioned, the problem is essentially the same. So we still have initially 3000 litres of water in the tank. We have 15 kilos of salt in the tank. We want to know how much salt there is at any given time in the tank. So it's y as a function of t. And to help us do that we're going to find the rate of change of salt in the tank. At any given time we're going to find a, uh, a differential equation that involves the rate of change. So let's now set up our first order differential equation. The rate of change dy dt, dy on dt, is exactly the same as before. We calculate this by taking the difference of the flow rates in and out. So it's going to be rate in minus the rate out. In this case the rate in is exactly the same as before. I'll write that as equals we have a concentration of 0 0.02 kilograms per litre coming in by a flow rate of 10 litres per minute and that converts to 0 0.2 kilograms of salt coming in per minute. Now for the rate out that's a little bit more tricky because we do not have a steady volume anymore however one of the assumptions of this problem is that the salt fully mixes with the solution before it leaves the tank. So that means the quantity of salt is fully dissolved into the volume of solution in the tank. And we can write that as a function of the volume. So we have an unknown y, which is the quantity of salt, over the volume of the tank at any given time. So that's the fully mixed solution and it's flowing out at a rate of 5 litres per minute. So instead of this being a constant 3000, we have to now find an expression for the volume as a function of time. And to find the expression for the volume, we can largely do this by inspection. Because we have an initial volume that we start off with, which is 3000 litres. We have a certain volume flow rate into the tank. And we have a certain volume flow rate out of the tank which will serve to counter the increase in the volume of the tank. So we times this net volume flow rate by time to find the volume of the solution in the tank at any given time. So substituting our parameters in, we have 3000 initially, plus we have 10 litres a minute coming in, minus 5 litres a minute going out, times T, and this of course reduces to 3000 plus 5t. And note that I've left the units out here for clarity. So the expression for rate out. We can complete this now. We have the quantity y of salt over the volume, which is 3000 plus 5t by the rate that's coming out, 5 litres per minute. And this expression simplifies to y on 600 plus t. And we'll leave out the units again for convenience. So the differential equation becomes dy on dt equals 0 0.2 minus y on 600 plus t. And we can rearrange this to dy dt plus y on 600 plus t equals 0 0.2. So let's label this as equation 1. 
So equation 1 is a linear first order differential equation which can be solved by the use of an integrating factor. And the integrating factor, let's call it i, is equal to e to the integral of 1 on 600 plus t with respect to t. So it's the integral of the coefficient term in front of the y term here. So the integrating factor equals e to the log of 600 plus t which simply reduces to 600 plus t. So what we can do now is to multiply through by the integrating factor. So if we multiply i by 1 this implies we have 600 plus t by dy dt plus y equals 0 0.2 by 600 plus t. And when we use integrating factors, the left hand side reduces to 600t, which is the integrating factor, 600 plus t that is by y and it is the derivative of this group so when we apply the product rule to 600 plus t by y we should get back to the left hand side that we started with so that's the ingenuity of integrating factors and uh, let's simplify the right hand side which is now 120 plus 0 0.2 t now we simply apply the integral to both sides with respect to time. So the left hand side simply evaluates to 600 plus t by y. The right hand side evaluates to 120 t plus 0 0.2 t squared on 2. And because we're integrating as indefinite integrals we always include the integration constant c plus c. And to isolate y on its own we simply divide both sides by 600 plus t so we have 120 t plus 0 0.1 t squared plus c all over 600 plus t. And now finally all we have to do is apply the initial condition y of 0 equals 120 by 0 plus 0 0.1 by 0 plus c over 600 plus 0 which gives us c over 600 equals the initial 15 kilos of salt that we have in the tank so this means then that C, the integration constant, is equal to 15 by 600, which equals 9,000. So for this mixing problem, the amount of salt as a function of time until the tank fills up is equal to 120t plus 0.1t squared plus 9,000 all over 600 plus t. Let's take a quick look at a graph of what this function looks like. So as you can see by this graph the amount of salt rises almost linearly as a function of time and uh, unlike before when we had a steady volume the amount of salt doesn't taper off to an asymptote and that logically makes sense because the volume is ever increasing the flow rate of solution out of the tank is lower than the flow rate into the solution so the amount of salt is going to steadily increase over time. Okay that'll do it for this video if you have found it helpful please hit that like button share it with your friends and study mates. I have many other tutorials on my channel to help you with your studies so please check them out if you have any questions please use the comment section below. In the meantime best of luck with your studies and I'll see you on the next video.